The largest firefighting academy in northern Minnesota kicked off today. This academy attracts participants from all over the country to learn and earn qualifications for emergency response. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. A little bit further. You're in. More than 800 firefighters and participants are in Grand Rapids this week for the 16th Annual Wildfire Academy. I'm really excited to be here. I want to get red card certified and I want to be able to utilize that in the next three years. Here participants dive into the basics of fire safety and advanced firefighting and some work towards the red card which qualifies one to respond to emergencies nationwide. I'm really excited to see where it could take me and if I can apply to jobs after the Conservation Corps this summer. So maybe with the Forest Service or DNR. This week-long training has 34 courses, ranging from classwork to hands-on exposure. These courses help students refine their actions and reactions to real-life fire scenarios. We're going to train this way, so this is the way we're going to do it in real life. And once you start doing this more and more, it starts to become repetitive and you start to memorize how, this, how it actually works and everything like that. And it'll become second nature if you do it enough. And one of the main goals is building the next generation of firefighters. We see a great benefit that those senior firefighters, as they mingle with uh, the new firefighters, if not during lunch breaks or in the evening, they get a chance even to do some uh, mentoring and some discussion uh, and pass along some of that much needed wisdom they've gained on the fire ground. And for many students and instructors, it's the relationships that they've built that they treasure most. I've seen in our students so far this year is um, they're really open and eager to learn. They want to get the best out of they. They're really important for them to serve their communities and be the best uh, first responders, firefighters, police officers and such that they can be. So in the course of like, what would you rather do? Would you rather sit at home and read a book or would you rather go to classes in a huge, in a school with all these other people that have tons of input and um, knowledge and backgrounds and experiences? And no, this is definitely I mean, for me, this is hands down the best thing. In Grand Rapids, Brian Mack, Lakeland News. The Academy also highlights interagency partnership in an effort to increase faster response time when responders arrive on the scene. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.